Leo, what's good? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do y'all's reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And Leo, we're gonna go ahead and tap in. Um, Leo, I ain't really get no downloads for you. Um I did hear what I did hear, Leo, is like you're just real like nonchalant. And I feel like that's like pissing somebody off. It's like your nonchalantness, like not giving a fuck, not caring, you know, just having that, oh, well, fuck it attitude. It's like really getting under somebody's skin. I don't know who that is. Um, it could be um, a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but I feel like somebody is stuck and trapped out here. Like, Leo, I feel like... Yeah, it's like now that I turn the camera on, it's now I'm hearing the like downloads. But I feel like Leo, like somebody wants to be with you, like they want to be in a relationship with you. But I don't know if this person is like stuck or trapped in something. They can have a baby on the way, or they could be in a relationship. They could be married with somebody or something here. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio out here, and Aquarius so far. Um, but I feel like somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, but it's just like they're stuck or they're trapped in something or you just don't want to be with them. So they're stuck and trapped or whatever, or they don't, I, I don't know, because we got anxiety out here. It's like scared, panic. So somebody is like out here is panicking or, I mean, the eight of swords energy with the, uh, somebody could be having anxiety or a panic attack. Somebody is fearing the worst. They feel stuck or trapped in in something or some something that they can't get out of. Yeah, I'm hearing entanglement. So I don't know if you got an entanglement with somebody, Leo, but I don't know. I, for, for some of you, Leo, you can have an entanglement with somebody. And I feel like it's like you were in a entanglement with somebody, but somebody feels like you're their person. But I don't feel like it's mutual. Or something here. Because it's like, why would this person be having anxiety and panic attacks and stress the fuck out and shit? But it's just like, right underneath it, we have um, perfect match. So it's like somebody's having anxiety because they feel like you're their perfect match or some shit. But something here is not going how they want it to go. Or it's like they're stuck in something that they can't get out of. So they feel like they're going to miss their opportunity with you or something. It's like somebody out here is worried and has a lot of anxiety about the connection that y'all have. But then it's just like, I feel like, Leo, you're just on some nonchalant shit. It's just like you don't really care or like your level of understanding about this situation or whatever this person is involved in or whatever the fuck they got going on. It's just like you're just like it is what it is type shit. Yeah, we got um, look at yourself here. So somebody needs to do, somebody's been doing some like self-reflecting or some shit here um, with drama queen, thirsty causing chaos. So it could be a bitch out here who's been acting a fool and shit, but she's been like reflecting on her behavior, thirsty causing chaos. It's just like a bitch just acting out because she not getting her way, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But you see how she got this crown on. So this is somebody who claims to be high vibing and all this type of shit but it's like bitch if you're so high vibing with this crown on your head then why are you always being thirsty why are you always causing chaos why are you always in your feelings and shit so i don't know there's you leo or there's somebody else but or this this could be somebody that this person is connected to that's like scared that they're they didn't miss the opportunity with you because then we got the queen of wands out here escapade it says vacation hideaway adventure so for some of you, Leo, maybe somebody wants to go on a vacation with you, a hideaway. Somebody wants to do like a vacation or a vacation with you, um, escapade. But it says missed opportunity. So it's a man out here sad because you fuck, they fucked up with you. Or for some of you, this person wants to apologize to you or something here. But it's a missed opportunity. Like somebody's mad because they fucked up with you. Real shit, escapade. 
And some of you Leos, you can be like, uh, some of you Leos could be like mixed race or foreign or you look like it. Um, so yeah, you could be like fair skinned or lighter complected or brown complected. Um, some of you could be mixed with um, Asian or it's something about your eyes. Like it's something about you that just looks foreign or looks like you could be mixed if you're not. I feel like even if you're not and you're just like, you know, African-American or whatever, I still feel like it's something about you where people may mistake you for being like mixed with something. But it's like some of you get mistaken for being mixed race and others of you really are mixed race. But it's definitely something about you. I feel like you're in your power, though, Leah. I feel like you're feeling good about yourself in spite of what's going on and shit. So it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like this really, like, nonchalant, like, carefree type of shit where you're just like, look, life is life. It is what it is. Like, <laughs> like that's how it feels. Um, and then, but you do got somebody triggered out here. Somebody that's jealous of you. Could be this whoever the fuck this is or it could be somebody else some of you leos are like influencers or you have a platform so if you have a platform platform or some shit you can have another influencer or something who's like jealous or triggered by something that you be saying in your readings i don't know who the fuck this is but yeah i feel like for the most part i feel like leo you're just like on some carefree shit this is like you're just doing you. You're just not giving a fuck. You're not concerning yourself too much with other people's business. Because I feel like, Leo, like, you may have dealt with, like, a very narcissistic person in the past or a narc. And it's just like after that experience with that narc, I feel, I feel like you're free from that shit now. Like, you're showing up in your power. So I feel like you're free from whoever this narcissistic person is, right? But I just feel like because you experienced... um this type of situation with like this narcissistic ass person it's almost just like look like i've been through the worst of the worst i've dealt with one of the most or the most wicked motherfuckers that you can ever encounter i've been betrayed i've been all type of shit so at this point nothing can fade me like for real like i feel like that's just it's just the energy that I'm picking up on. Like, I really feel like that. Like, I feel like nothing surprises you, Leo. Nothing like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like when it comes to people, when it comes to humans, it's just like certain shit doesn't even surprise you. Somebody getting pregnant, somebody ending up pregnant, somebody um cheating, somebody getting embarrassed, somebody doing shit that they ain't got no business. I'm like, I just feel like none of it surprises you. It's like because you see how grimy people can be or whoever this person that you deal with in your past. I'm talking about you see how low level, how disgusting motherfuckers can get. So I feel like at this point in your life, it's just almost like nothing can phase you. It's just like it is what it is. Like I know how bitches get down. I know how hoes will try to backdoor your ass and all type of shit. It's like I've seen the shit with my own fucking eyes. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you definitely got somebody triggered out here. I feel like that nonchalant shit, like not giving a fuck, is just like, look, bitch, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But they got somebody mad or feeling some type of way. He's just like, mm, oh, well, bitch, that sounds like a you problem. But let's see. Somebody is definitely triggered, though. Somebody's pissed, projecting, sending you evil eye. Yeah, star card, because you've been healing. Some of you have Aquarius in your chart. It's just like, yeah, you've been healing, doing you, staying prayed up. Um, some of you are in your purpose with the star card. You could be a healer, so you could work in the medical field, or you can have some type of business. Or like I said, you could be an influencer. You could be in the public eye in some type of way, whether it's... Um, you could be a music artist. You could be shit. You could have a beauty brand or a business or something here. Like, you know, you can do like esthetician work. You know what I'm saying? So you can do because I got to block out her titties. But you see, you see that little hair on her vagina and shit. So some of you are like waxers and shit. It's like you just do something creative that has put you in the spotlight in some sort of way. Whether it could be tarot for some of you. It could be, you could do music, you could do beauty brands, you could work in the healthcare field. I feel like if you do work in the healthcare field, I feel like you are you can be like a a nurse practitioner or something. Because the fact that she's like naked, this is just giving me like, I don't know, you work, if you work in the medical field, this could be something like, 
you're like high ranking in that shit. So you can be like a nurse practitioner or something here. Some of you are models. It's like all type of shit with this star energy. I just feel like you're in your creative purpose, whatever that is to you. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're just healing. You're staying prayed up. You're blessed. You're grateful for where you are in life. It's just like, can't nothing fade you. It's like somebody's so mad. Look at that devil card. Somebody did something mad. It could be a Capricorn. It's like motherfuckers are mad at you for not giving a fuck. <laughs> Oh shit, let's see. Let me see who this mad is. Motherfucker is first. Let's see who these mad people are. But yeah, somebody's having a lot of anxiety, feeling stuck, scared, panicked. Yeah, you can have a lot of people like attracted to you or sexually interested in you, and you're just like, no. It's like I feel like Leo, you definitely know your worth. Like you're just like absolutely the fuck not. Like you don't play with people. You're not settling for shit. Like no. you divine feminine boom first card out so some of you you can have capricorn in your chart because Aaliyah is a capricorn so some of you got capricorn in your chart but this is divine feminine energy i told you a lot of you are in your power you're confident you know your worth you feel good you look good your skin is glowing star energy with the queen of wands you just fine as fuck for real it says one in a million age ain't nothing but a number. Even if you're like a Leo that's like older in age, I feel like you're bomb as fuck. You could be in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, and I still feel like you look good. It's something about your skin. I mean, but that's that's true. Because, I mean, it's some older Leo females who are like bomb as fuck. Like J-Lo, Angela Bassett, like they are Loretta Divine. They all are still fine as hell. So, I don't know what they beauty regimen is, but this shit be on point. Um, songbirds. Some of you, I told you, some of you could be singers or you do something with your voice. You could be a public speaker. Um, it says modest, princess, dancer. Some of you could dance. Um, I don't know who that's for. Even if you're like a exotic dancer, I feel like you're top tier, bitch. Like, you get paid top dollars to perform or to dance or to work people's shit or whatever the fuck it says one in a million age ain't nothing but a number so it's like it don't even matter what age you are i feel like you look good as fuck like real shit it's something about how you look your skin is glowing or something here like that you're just fine as hell and i feel like with modest it says modest on here too it's like you don't have to do too much like whatever you do like it's like you get a lot of attention but it's like you're not doing nothing degrading like you're not getting naked you're not shaking your ass you're not doing you know you're not doing too much but it's something here that you do that people love angelic i'm telling you a lot of you got like it's something about your voice that people like yeah, look at this weird ass bitch out here, Nicki Minaj. So for some of you, it could be a Sagittarius bitch out here that's being weird, that's fucking crazy and obsessed with you. Drama causing chaos. It's like a bitch want to be in competition with you so bad, but it's like you're divine feminine. Like I'm divine feminine, bitch. Like please, like she can't write out on top of drama queen. That's how you know it's like this bitch can have colored hair, pink hair. Or some shit. She doesn't have to. But I feel like this could be a bitch with plastic surgery for some of you. Or she always got her titties like out or sitting up. Like this is the bitch that's the complete opposite from you. It's like this bitch does way too much. And you don't have to do much at all. You know what I'm saying? But pretty and pink. Rich sex. Yeah, she's a gold digger. She like to fuck niggas for money. It's like she's trying to keep up with you. But it's just like... She go about her shit in the opposite way. Whoever this is, whoever Nicki Minaj is, she's not as talented as you. It's like you just got it. You got the it factor. Like it's just something about you that is is gifted. You know what I'm saying? But she wants to have that. But it's like, bitch, that shit is not the same. Like real shit. Moment for life. Or this could be a bitch who had her moment already and it came and went and she's still trying to like 
prove that she got some type of spot or something because you're coming up or something here, especially if you're an influencer. Like if you have some type of platform where you speak, perform, dance, sing, rap, whatever the fuck it is, it's like some bitch out here feeling some type of way because you're like coming up or taking her spot or some shit. But it's like, girl, skirt. <laughs> We say it's young money. You bitches are my son. So yeah, it's a bitch that thinks she run shit. Mike check out here like bitch. Who you gonna check? You better try again, ho. Ha! For real. Yeah, and then we got waiting to exhale. It says let it flow. Friendly faces. Not gonna cry. Motherly trials, divorce, separation. Celebrate breathe so yeah some of you are just really like relaxing some of you could be going on vacation or you need one um but i feel like you could be hanging out with friends these could be siblings or your best friends or your social circle or whoever these women are that you feel like you can trust and confide in it says let it flow because some of you leos could be going through a divorce you could be separating from somebody and i feel like you're, you just want to be around the people who really care about you type shit so I feel like you're hanging out with these women. They're, you know, keeping a smile on your face as you go through whatever the fuck this is. Um, yeah, friendly faces, not going to cry, breathe, letting it flow. So, yeah, I feel like you're releasing something emotionally. Um, but I feel like you got the right support system around you as far as your friends and family are concerned. Because this may be something that you're releasing or letting go of. This like a major change. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the matrix out here. It says decoded possibilities, the chosen, the oracle. And yeah, I feel like this is a life changing decision that you had to make with the matrix out here. I feel like, Leo, you had the option to let go of something or hold on to something but i feel like whatever this was or whoever this was if you would have held on to it it would have kept you in the matrix you know what i'm saying i feel like whoever this person was or whatever this situation was i feel like it's a major decision that you had to make i feel like if you would have stayed with this person stayed married to this person or whatever you would have been making a choice to basically stay asleep you know what I'm saying? You would have had to turn a blind eye to a certain shit because this person may be like low vibrational or whatever. And then you have the option to be like, do you want to go back to the matrix? Do you want to plug back in or do you want to stay woke and you want to move on? You know what I'm saying? Because whoever this is or whatever this is, I feel like you really wanted it at one point or you wanted to keep it. Like I said, if this is like a marriage or something. This is just like, man, like I straight love this person. I love being married. I really want to be with them. But like, this shit ain't healthy for me or it ain't right or it's not helping me progress you know what i'm saying it's literally like slowing me down or blocking me so i feel like Leo, you had to make the ultimate decision of letting something go that you really really wanted and that's why i said like you could be hanging around family or friends people who really support you and shit because you're letting go of something emotionally that really meant something to you something that you really want i mean i do feel like this person is I feel like whoever this person is, they do have some type of like, um, this is definitely a crazy ass Sagittarius out here for sure. But, um, I just feel like whoever this masculine energy is, he's like sad. It's a missed opportunity out here. Some of you could be pregnant by this person and realizing like, it's just not going to work out with them. Yeah, Michael Jackson, entertainer, pretty young thing, self-esteem. Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all do something. You are talented at something. You're the GOAT at something. You're some type of artist, whether it's like a makeup artist or you're a recording artist, a performer. It's like you do something um, publicly, you know, that you're really talented at, that you're really good at. You could have been doing it since you've been a child or something, but... I feel like people could be hating on you because of whatever that is. But what's new, right? But yeah, I feel like you're releasing something. You're healing or you already did. And I feel like whatever you release puts you in your divine feminine energy. It's like because you let this go, it's like you know your worth now. 
you know it's just like you couldn't go back if you wanted to and then there's still some type of weird ass bitch out here that wants to compete with you it's just like bitch like you're a loser like divine feminine does not give a fuck about you bitch at all it's like bitches be weird they want you to care about them so bad like bitch nobody cares it's like what the fuck but yeah let's see what this is leo like i don't know i just feel like you're done with a lot of shit out here that's why I'm just like, it's like these people got issues going on. It's like somebody's pregnant out here. It's another weird ass bitch who wants to compete with you. And I feel like you just don't care about none of it. Motherfuckers is triggered, jealous, bothered, narcissistic and shit. And I feel like you just don't care. It's motherfuckers out here who, who think you're their perfect match and all this. We're soulmates and shit. And I feel like you're just like, whatever. <laughs> on some shit, I just feel like you're self-focused right now. You're really focused on you. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know what's wrong with these people who are dying for your attention and want to compete. It's just like you don't give a fuck. That's why I said some of you, I mean, you can have an Aquarius out here um, that calls you or something here. And I said, I feel like. I feel like you got people that you know want to talk to you, but I feel like you're doing you. Like, you're into your divine feminine energy. It's like, okay, if I want to talk to you, I'll call you. Or if you call me, I'll answer the phone, but I ain't going to answer the phone every time you call me because if I don't feel like I don't want to be bothered, then I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you're really, like, doing what you feel like you got energy for, basically. It's like you're not letting nobody pressure you into shit. You're not letting nobody, like, just suck up all your energy. It's just, like, you're just, like, putting people where they belong, basically. I feel like motherfuckers are not liking it. Yeah, look at that. Ten of swords. Did I say that? Ten of swords reversed and came out on, on top of you, divine feminine. Like, that's what I said. Or if you're a, cro a cross watcher, you can have Leo in your chart. But, yeah, like I said, ten of swords reversed. I'm telling you, you've already been through the worst. You've already been the, the the ten of swords of right is like ruin, like that's like rock bottom when you're like at your lowest point. It's in the reverse now, two 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 on the timer. But <sighs> Leo, you've been through a lot, man. Ten of swords, you didn't got betrayed, you didn't got done dirty, and I just feel like because of this ten of swords, it's just like nobody can hurt you now. It's like you know how wicked people can be you know how people can get down so it's just like it's like the worst has already happened to me so nothing else that anybody could try to do to me can phase me like i've been did, did dirty by motherfuckers i love the most it's like nothing that you can tell me type shit ten of swords reverse it's just like you've healed from some type of major betrayal something that could have just took you out you know what i'm saying the ten of swords some people don't bounce back from the ten of swords type of energy that's this rock bottom this mental ruin like whatever this ten of swords is this major betrayal was from the past this is something that could have fucked up fucked you up mentally you know what i'm saying but it didn't the ten of swords is in reverse you came out on top of this shit you've healed divine feminine is out here you 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 took this shit and you turned it into to power basically You let this betrayal fuel you into your purpose. So it's just like now you're untouchable. It's just like, I mean, look, motherfuckers did, did, did the most disrespectful, foul shit to me that I never even fucking deserved. So it's just like, what can you tell a person who've already experienced the worst shit and recovered from it? What can you tell me about that? <laughs> it's just like, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of energy this is, Leo. Like, I just feel like you really don't give a fuck. Yeah, look at you and your boss energy. Because in this deck, um, a lot of the people in this deck are women. That's why this is a king of wands. But it's a woman, if you look closely. It's a woman. So, yeah, a lot of you are just bossed the fuck up. King, like, you're, you're a queen of wands, but you're in your king of wands energy. So, you could be tapping into your masculine energy. So you just feel bossed up. It's like you ready for whatever. Like King of Wands. It's like, what was that? What you say? What's up? It's like, I feel like you're really assertive or you're really ready for whatever. It's like you don't play with people now. King of Wands is just like, look, Ten of Swords is out here. I made it through that shit. I can bounce back from anything for sure. So it's just like King of Wands, like, what's up? What you want to do type shit? 
Like, I feel like you you ready for war with motherfuckers who want to smoke with you. It's like, shit, I ain't starting no shit, but if you want it, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? If you want smoke, we can match that type shit. Some of you could be smoking weed. Because <laughs> I don't know why I just said this. So some of y'all could be trying to match with somebody or something. I don't know. Some of you could be dealing with other fire signs. You could be dealing with another Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Heavy on the Aries because we got the food card out here. So, yeah, it's a lot. But a lot of y'all are free. I told you, you're free from something. You recovered from some type of ten of swords situation, some type of major betrayal, and you're free. You're living your life. As I said, some of you could be listening to music and shit because it looks like she holding like, like she got her phone in her hand with her her um headphones in. So you're listening to music. It's like you're doing stuff that's going that's aiding to your healing process. So a lot of you, you're spending time with your loved ones, people that care about you. You could be outside getting the sunlight. You could be going on vacation. You could be going on an adventure. It's like you're switching shit up. Some of you are changing your wardrobe. Some of you are dyeing your hair. Like some of you are listening to music. It's like you're doing anything that feels good to your soul because that's what's helping you recover from this ten of swords it's like you got your confidence back king of wands with the fool card or you will yeah look at that shit nine of swords yeah this is this motherfucker who was a part of this ten of swords somebody that did you dirty somebody that did you fucked up for no reason look at this motherfucker nine of swords they can't sleep they stay up all night motherfucker scared feeling guilty and shit mm-hmm Somebody having a lot of anxiety. Somebody's worried that they fucked up. They did. Nine of swords. Upright. Somebody know they fucked up with you. Real shit. They feel guilty. The nine of swords only comes out when you have a guilty conscience. Like you wouldn't be worried. You wouldn't be having anxiety. You wouldn't be up all night and can't sleep if you know you ain't do something fucked up. Nine of swords. It could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah, and look right behind that is the ace of pentacles. They missed the opportunity with you they fucked up mm -hmm. somebody could have got fired because of you too because the ace of pentacles is like being broke or something so somebody could have got fired because of you like real shit with the ace of pentacles reverse or they missed out on some money or they missed out on the opportunity from trying to fuck with you yeah look at that page of swords somebody spots somebody's is oh this mercury retrograde i can't talk page of swords somebody is watching spying Trying to figure out what you got going on, what you doing, who you doing it with. It's like somebody's in your business with the page of swords. Mm -hmm. So who is this in this nine of swords energy? Who is this that feels like they fucked up with Leo? reverse i told you somebody out here is not self-aware whoever this person is in this nine of swords energy they made the wrong decision they judge you too harshly or they were wrong about you or this is your ass but judgment reverse with the nine of swords the judgment reverse is somebody who is like not self-aware they say shit and they do shit that goes against their better judgment it's like this is somebody who don't trust their intuition. They don't trust their gut feeling. It's just like you knew you shouldn't have did something or said something, but you did it anyway. You went against your better judgment, and now you in the nine of swords. That's what your ass get. Judgment. Mm, somebody who's wearing a mask. Somebody who's being fake. Somebody who's not aware. Somebody who isn't honest with themselves. They don't judge themselves correctly, which is why they fucked up with you. Like somebody with a judgment reverse energy, they're getting karma too. Whoever this is, they could be ju being judged really harshly. People are gossiping about this fucking person and shit. It's like with the judgment reverse out here, it's just like this is somebody who doesn't make good decisions. It's like they don't even see themselves because the, the judgment can talk about self-awareness. You know, holding the mirror up to yourself, looking at your own reflection and shit to make sure that, damn, am I looking at myself right? Am I, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody who doesn't, they're unaware of how they look to like to the public. They're unaware of their image. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just like, so they just be saying shit, doing shit, talking out the side of their neck. You know, just being weird. And it's just almost just like, do you see, like, do you, are you aware of what you're doing or how you act? Like, do you see that, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody is unaware out here, which is why they judge you incorrectly because they can't even judge themselves right. Like, what the fuck? Why is the judgment reverse here? This is gossip too. The judgment reverse can be malicious gossip. So this person judged you based on what other people were telling them about you that wasn't even fucking true. Like, it's like, you judge me off of what somebody else was saying, off of somebody else's opinion, and you fucked up. Nine of swords. Why the judgment reverse? King of Cuz Reverse. Now somebody crying and in their feelings and shit. Yeah, this masculine energy. Like, I don't know who he was listening to about you, Leo, but now he's all sad and shit. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's just almost just like... I Like, I don't know who was listening to somebody else about you or, like, somebody just had you fucked up out here. King of Cups Reverse is somebody who's extremely manipulative, but at the same time, somebody who's sensitive as well. So it's just like, how you always trying to manipulate somebody, but then at the same time, you always in your feelings. You a fucking crybaby when somebody do something to your ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody out here is the King of Cups reverse is somebody who's moody. They're wishy-washy. They're all over the place. For some of you, this person could be a drinker with the King of Cups reverse. It's like you never know, like, what you're going to get with this person. I feel like emotional highs and lows and shit. It's just almost just like, what in the fuck? Like, it's like, why are you always tripping and shit? You always crying. Just like, you just very fickle. And just like, you just never know what to expect from this person. It's like, they're always in their feelings about something. And it's just like, oh my God. It's like, I don't know. Whoever this king of cups reverse is like, this person's fucking exhausting. It's just like, yeah, strength card on bottom of the deck in reverse. For some of you, this could be another Leo. And you're just like, oh, please move around me. Move away. Get back with that weird ass shit. Like, what the fuck? This is a crybaby ass man with the King of Cups reverse. I just feel like you're over it. I'm just like, look, get somebody else to do it. Like, that's the King of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who listened to somebody else when it comes to you and they got tricked out their spot. Now it's a missed opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. We got. The the actual missed opportunity card out here and the eight of pentacles. I mean the ace of pentacles out here. Okay. It's like somebody got tricked out their spot listening to other people. I don't know who the fuck these people were that they were listening to. Um could be family, could be friends, could be a homeboy, homegirl, sister, brother, cousin. I don't know who the fuck this person was listening to. Could be a karmic feminine they were listening to. I don't know. But somebody out here. Mm. And I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like Leo, you've made peace with it. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, okay, well shit, it is what it is then. Like you missed your opportunity with me. It is what it is. Life goes on type shit but i feel like somebody out here they don't like that they're in their feelings and shit because they feel like they fucked up nine of swords like lots of king of cups viewers yeah king of pentacles mm -hmm. Now this person wants to be loyal. Now they want to show up for you and shit. King of Pentacles energy. This could be an earth sign with a water placement. It's like now this person wants to show up for you. Or they going to come in pretending like King of Pentacles. Like they're really for something solid with you. I mean, I don't see any indication here of this person like reaching out to you yet. I mean, I did see the page of swords. So I feel like motherfuckers is spying or watching you on social media and shit. See what you got going on. But I don't think this person has actually said anything yet. But it's like they want to be the king of pentacles for you now, even though they've been the king of cups reverse. And it's just like, get the fuck out of here. Like, why's the 
Yeah, I just feel like you don't feel anything for this person or this situation. It's just like you don't care. Like, I feel like, Leo, you've already acknowledged that there's something wrong with this person, whether it's an alcohol problem or they just need to work on themselves for a heal with their king and cups reverse. Because this is somebody who's like emotionally scattered, emotionally all over the place and shit. King of cups reverse is like, you're just too moody. You're too clingy. You're a crybaby. You're annoying and shit. Like, I feel like, Leo, you've like already acknowledged that there's something wrong with this person. So it's just almost like, I can't help you. Like, you need to help yourself. And then when you feel better or you get better, then maybe we can talk. Like, this is this almost feels like, you know how, like, this is almost like you feel sorry for somebody. Like, Leo, like, you know how somebody, like, acts out or they do something to you. And it's just like, you know, it's just like... I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to explain it right. But you know how like somebody do something to you and you just shake your head. It's like you can't even get mad because it's just like I thought I thought higher of you. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I looked at you differently. I had a higher regard for you. I had more respect for you. And for you to do something like this, it's just like you look at somebody just like wow like yeah you know, it's like it's not a mad feeling but it's just like disheartening or something it's just like damn i expected more from you you know so it's just kind of like mm. you know it's it's like that why is the ten of swords reverse i feel like you're not mad at nobody but it's just like you just expect it better from this person yikes why is the ten of swords reverse I feel like you don't look at somebody the same anymore. Why is the ten of, ten of swords reverse? Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody did you dirty and now want to make amends with you with the six of pentacles. They want to work something out or balance something out. Or for some of you, you still have to work with this person. Because not work with this person like as far as like actual work, but I'm talking about like some of you got some type type of financial ties to this person because the six of pentacles can talk about it can talk about child support alimony all that type of shit so if some of you you're going through a divorce from somebody after they did you dirty after they betrayed you it's like i still feel like six of pentacles you have to deal with this person to a certain degree in regards to finances or alimony or child support payments or something or like i said this could be somebody who wants to make amends with you six of pentacles talks about reciprocity it's like somebody wants to come to some type of agreement, some sort of, some sort of compromise or something. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Definitely could be an Earth sign in Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of you are single and self-sufficient. You're single and happy. Nine of cups energy is when you're happy with self. You're happy with your accomplishments. You're ha with your accomplishments. You're happy with where you are in life, how far you've come, the decisions that you made. It's like you're in a place of peace. Like a lot of you, nine of cups, you're grateful. You you're blessed and highly favored. Like some of you, be, you drink good, you eat good. Nine of cups is like being emotionally content by yourself this is the nine of cups is like happily single it's like yeah i ain't got nobody but i ain't fucked up about it either type shit but i feel like you definitely not playing with nobody no more because even in this king of wands i told you this is a female but look how she got her fist balled up it's just like i'm telling you like i feel like leo i feel like you didn't you didn't tear somebody apart after they did you dirty. You didn't tear somebody apart or break them the fuck apart or rip them apart like you could have done. I feel like you had the power to do it, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you're, you just, I told you, you took that energy and just use it to focus on yourself, to, to fuel your dreams and your goals and shit. But for some of you, it's almost just like you're done with this person, though. It's like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So just stay over there where the fuck you at and don't come over here fucking with me. 
because your fist is still balled up. I feel like you let this person slide the first time, but if they come back over here with that shit again, you're going to knock their motherfucking ass out. It's just like, you already betrayed me. You already did me dirty. I, I'm going to just let that shit go. Because I'm still winning out here. Nine of Cups, full car. I'm free. You ain't really fucked nothing up for me. So I'm going to just let you be. Okay? But you bring your ass back over here. And, bro, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> I be like, Leo, you're just like, look. Leave me the fuck alone on some real shit. Nine of Cups, I'm over here happy. Minding my business. Nine of Cups, I'm free. I'm listening to music. I'm doing my thing. I'm hanging out with the people that I know care about me. Like, I'm in my own zone. I'm in my own lane. I'm out of my own business. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, real shit. Because next time, it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go. <laughs> like, real shit. Nine of Cups. I feel like you just want somebody to leave you the fuck alone. Like, real shit. Just leave me be. Because I feel like, Leo, it took a lot for you to not drag this motherfucker. Like, for real, I feel like it took a lot for you to not beat this motherfucker ass. It took a lot for you to not expose this person and go in on their ass. Like, I really feel like it just took a lot for you to just not say some shit. So, whoever the fuck this is, it's just like, bro, just keep your distance. Like, on some real shit. Why is the nine of cups here? Six of Cups, I'm telling you, some of you, this is your funky, raggedy ass ex. Somebody out here is like missing you. They're having nostalgic feelings, thinking about the past, how good it was. So this could definitely be somebody that you got a kid with um, or just somebody that you just got history with in general. Somebody from your past, the Six of Cups, they miss you. They miss the old times. They miss the good times and all that type of shit. But it's just like, oh, well. Like, hold on to the motherfucking memories because that's all you're going to have. Fuck on. Like, for real. Uh, Six of Cups. It's like now somebody got the audacity to be missing you, but they did the Ten of Swords to you in the past. And it's like you recovered from it. You know, you got back on top of your shit. You doing good. You free. You happy. You thriving and shit. And now somebody wants to, wants to, now all of a sudden a motherfucker miss you and shit. After they tried to basically break you down and take you out. Like, what the fuck? It's like, now you miss me? Ew. Like, what the fuck? Why is the six? This that weird shit I be talking about, bro. Like, why is the six of cups here? Like, how, how fucking dare you miss somebody that you ten of swords? Like, are you crazy? Like, you don't do the ten of swords to somebody and then be like, I miss you now. Like, are you out your fucking mind, bro? Like, no. But that's the that shit I be talking about. Like, motherfuckers is hella weird. Like, people just think they can do you any type of way. Then when you find out about it or whatever, they ass be looking crazy. And then when they realize, like, they was actually wrong about your ass or they judge you incorrectly. It's like, well, can we can we be cool again? Can we sweep that under the rug? No, the fuck we cannot, bitch. I ain't never sweeping shit under the rug. Like, the fuck? All I want you to do is just stay the fuck away from me, bitch. Like, I don't know if you telling somebody there or what, Leo, or what. Or somebody telling your ass that, why is it six of cups here? Could be a Scorpio. We got Scorpio, Aries out here, Capricorn towards Virgo. That's all I got so far. So, you can be dealing with other fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Or you can be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Or an Aquarius. Why is it six of cups here? Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords. You're moving on. You can be seeing 666, Leo. Six of Swords. You're moving on. Spirit, your guys have guided you away from this situation. Like, real shit. A lot of Some of you could have even moved. Like, literally. You could have moved to a different side of town. You could have moved to a different city or state. Why is the six of, six of Swords here? Yeah, because we got 666 out here. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Six of Swords. Yeah, look at you. Empress again. Period. Told you. 
you didn't glowed up, Leo. Like you got that glow on you, boo. Okay. You look good, you feel good, and it's real. Like it's coming from within. You got the the Empress out here twice and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like you're moving in silence too, Leo. I feel like you're not telling people your plans and shit no more. It's like I'm not saying you being like fucked up or nothing. It's just like you know who you are, the Empress. You know your power. You know how strong you are, how powerful you are. To come back from a ten of swords, you are definitely that bitch. Like, period. I feel like you pop your shit, but not in an arrogant way. It's like, no, I'm not better than nobody, but I know who the fuck I am. Like, Empress, like, you can't play with me. Like, the Empress is like all four bitches in one. You've mastered every feminine lesson. You mastered the Queen of Swords. You mastered the Queen of Cups. You mastered um, the Queen of Pentacles. You mastered the, the Queen of Wands. You're, you're a master of self now. It's like nobody knows you better than you know you. Like, real shit. And I feel like you're proud of that, Empress. So, what people can deem as, like, egotistical or overly confident, it's just like, bitch, no. I just know who I am. That's where my confidence comes from, bitch, because I know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done been through the motherfucking mud. I done been through the motherfucking trenches, bitch. Like, can't nobody tell me shit about it. Can't nobody tell me nothing after coming out of this Ten of Swords, bitch. Fuck you mean? Some motherfuckers don't ever make it out of no Ten of Swords. They just end up being a Queen of Swords reverse forever. Just a mad, bitter-ass bitch, but you came out as a motherfucking Empress, bitch. Like, yeah, somebody motherfucking tried it, okay? Why well, the Empress here? It's like, you a bad bitch out here, for sure. Empress and the Queen of Wands, or the King of Wands, or whatever. It's like, I feel like you're bossed up, you're sauced up, you looking good, you feeling good, you dressing nice. You got your body together. You're eating right. You're drinking right. Drinking right. Drinking plenty of water. Some of you could be pregnant though with the Empress out here. Watch the Empress here. And somebody out here is sick and disgusting for doing you how they did you and got the audacity to be trying to miss you all of a sudden. I'm telling you, somebody out here is a fucking narc. Like, they did you dirty. They betrayed you. They fucked you over. They really tried to ruin your mental, you know, your mental. They tried to fuck you up type shit. Yeah, Seven of Wands. I told you, you're protected. Seven of Wands, you don't play about your boundaries. You stand up for yourself. You you speak up. You speak out. Like, no, this is a no. Seven of, seven of Wands is a no. This is you protecting yourself, standing up for your energy, staying away from these fucking toxic ass people. Like, right, nah. Fuck on. Seven of Wands. It's like you're not playing with motherfuckers no more. Playtime is up. Seven of Wands, it's like hell fucking no for me. You stand up. The Seven of Wands talks about standing up for what's right. So I feel like you stood up, Leo. Like you, you talk your shit, you pop your shit, but you deserve to. Yeah, that's why you in the star energy. The star with the Empress and the Seven of Wands, it's like you deserve this position. You earned it. Like real shit, the Ten of Swords reverse is out here, and now you're the Empress with the star. I'm telling you, this is fame. Empress and the star card, some of you can be famous or going to be. And I feel like it's because of something that you do creatively. It's part of your purpose with the star energy here because it heals people. And you're protected as you do this shit too with the Seven of Wands. It's like... Like, I was born to do this shit. I feel like you're understanding your purpose now, Leo. It's just like, I know why I had to go through that. You know what I'm saying? Because now you can teach others. You can help others and show others how to heal and shit. How to channel that Ten of Swords, that negative energy. You don't have to let the Ten of Swords take you out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit fucked up. And it hurt real, real bad. But shit, that ain't going to define you. This Ten of Swords ain't going to what's define you. What's going to define you is how you bounce back from that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was the king of wands. This is like some of you definitely could be chosen with the star card here, or people look at you like you are because it's just like Empress with the star. People know that you're blessed, you're highly favored, you got this glow about you. It's like people know. And real shit. Why is the king of wands here? Look at that queen of pentacles. I'm talking about bossed up, sauced up, 
Some of you could work from home or you have a home-based business. I'm telling you, you're real wifey material. Empress with the Queen of Pentacles and a Star card and the King of Wands. Oof. You a bad bitch, okay? Some of you definitely got Earth in your chart or you got an Aquarius placement. I have the Queen of Pentacles here. A lot of you are about your business. You take care of home. You take care of your kids. You focus on your bag. You focus on your money. You mind your business. Like, you focus on your own pinnacle, on your own your own life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't be worried about nobody else's shit. It's like somebody out here, because we got the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. It's somebody out here who feels like you're their match now. Somebody who wants to marry you. Somebody who sees you as a wife and shit or a girlfriend. Somebody who wants long-term they want a long-term commitment with you now, or they want to marry you now and shit. It's like, what in the fuck? Why well, is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Who is this Nine of Pentacles reverse? Somebody who's extremely insecure, somebody who's fake as fuck and codependent. The Nine of Pentacles reverse energy is somebody who can't stand on their own two feet. The Nine of Pentacles is reverse is somebody who doesn't have their own independence. So they always need help or need something from someone. They got to live with a motherfucker. They got to borrow money. They got to do this or do that. But at the same time, Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody who likes to keep up with the Joneses too. Their priorities are fucked up. It's like they care more about looking good than actually being good. Like... Who the fuck? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody who's extremely insecure. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, justice. Mm -hmm. Leave her energy out here. I feel like whoever this insecure, fake ass motherfucker is, is somebody who wants to make something right with you now. Justice card. Yeah, probably because Karma didn't whoop they ass and shit. Now somebody wants to make something right with you. Justice card. Five of Swords reverse, yeah, because somebody feels defeated. All their mind games, all that shit they try to do behind your back, all that gossiping and jealous and secret competition shit, shit backfired on their ass. And somebody tried to one up you, they try to step on your toes or some shit or be weird and it backfired. Five of Swords reverse. Or somebody who tried to get revenge on you for no reason or I don't know. It's just like somebody just hates your ass for nothing. It's like you are not out here bothering nobody. That's why the energy feels so calm and shit. It's just like you just out here in your own lane doing your own thing. Like, if somebody out here just wanted to fuck with you and it backfired. It's just like, what in the fuck? Because I feel like you stay out of the bullshit with the Seven of Wands here. It's like you protect your energy. You don't associate with those low-vibing-ass motherfuckers. Motherfuckers who always in some drama. Motherfuckers who always got beef. Motherfuckers who always got some shit going on. You stay away from those type of people with the Seven of Wands. So it's just like anybody trying to come for you. Anybody trying to get revenge and shit. It's just like you learned your lesson out here with that Ten of Swords. After that is when you stop fucking with motherfuckers, Leo. You're just like, nah, I see how motherfuckers get down. So I'm going to stay over here and mind my business and focus on me. Focus on my healing. Focus on my relationship with God. Focus on my purpose here. And now that people can see that, they see that energy on you, that you're in your purpose, that you're glowing, that you're happy, that you're supported, that you're loved and shit. It's like the people who try to do you dirty or fuck you over. Whoever this was, a part of this Ten of Swords, it's like now they look stupid. Because it's almost just like, damn, like Leo was never doing anything to you. For real. Lots of Five of Swords here. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yep. Somebody feels abandoned out in the cold. I feel like whoever this person is that did, did something to you, they're losing a lot here. Um, Ace of pentacles reverse, five of swords reverse, five of pentacles upright. This person could be homeless or they lost a lot of money or they've been abandoned and rejected or they didn't lost out on something financially by trying to come for you. Like real shit. Or some of you, this person could be homeless now or something. Or they're just not doing well financially. Or this is you for fucking with a divine feminine. 
Five to five and pentacles here. Somebody's like out in the cold, feeling rejected, abandoned, needing help and shit. Why is the five of pentacles here? Yeah, how fun. Mm -hmm. Somebody lost their spiritual ranking too. For some of you, this could be a Taurus. That's why I said, like, you could have been married to this person for some of you with the Hierophant reverse. It's like somebody it took a major ill for trying to fuck with you. Or this is this narcissistic person. If they're not a Taurus, the Hierophant reverse is like a narcissist. It's somebody who is just like... Y'all were never on the same page. Like the horrifying verse is somebody who acts like they believe in God, but they really don't. It's, it's somebody who's like a blasphemer. <laughs> like somebody who's black blasphemy. They use the Lord's name in vain, act like they so righteous and they so tapped in and they so disciplined and structured and they got all these morals and value and integrity and shit, but really they don't. They're the total fucking opposite. They're a bully. They're a narcissist. They're a delinquent. It's like somebody here doesn't like to conform. They like to just, I don't know what the fuck they like to do. Yeah, look at that nine of wands. I told you somebody pissed the fuck off. They sending you evil eye and shit, mad. This narcissist is mad because they couldn't fade your ass. They tried it, but it didn't work. Yeah, look. Four of Pentacles and this person is still trying to hold on to your energy with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, power font reverse. This could even be somebody who's married. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's still married. They, they're not divorced yet. They still could be legally married. It's like, maybe you told this person, like, I'm not fucking with you. Do you know who I am? I'm the motherfucking Empress, the Star, and the Queen of Wands. Like, bitch, I'm not fucking with no married person. Like, are you out your damn mind? Or what the fuck you thought this was finna be? Like, you're in a marriage. The Hierophant Reverse can be an unconventional marriage. It's like two motherfuckers who are not honoring their vows anymore. They're just legally married, but they're doing what the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, um, no, I'm not, no, get somebody else to do it. Oh, it's the four of pentacles here. It's like somebody's trying to hold on to your energy. This narcissistic person, yeah, king of wands reverse. It could be a Taurus with an air placement, but it doesn't have to be. It just could be a Aries Leo or, I mean, not an Aries Leo on Sagittarius, a king of swords, um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. The King of Swords versus somebody who's bitter, somebody who's a liar, somebody who's mean, somebody who's an asshole. They're irrational. So it's just like they, the decisions they make aren't fair. They aren't just. It's like they're not. The King of Swords versus somebody who's irrational in their thinking. So it's just like it, it, the shit that they do or say only makes sense to them basically it's just like what are you talking about and then this person is a liar too the king of swords reverse this person's trying to hold on to your energy this person could still be legally married with the hierophant reverse or they just have some type of they're either a narcissist because the hierophant and the king of swords reverse the king of swords reverse is definitely a narc so this definitely could be somebody who's narcissistic who you cut them off from your energy and now this person's trying to hold on to you for dear life but it's just like they're getting chastised by your spirit, your spirit guys. They're being chastised by the most high because it's just like you've already betrayed Leo, the Ten of Swords here. You don't get to hold on to their energy. I feel like somebody is getting beat the fuck up until they let your energy go. Literally, somebody is getting beat the fuck up by spirit until they let your energy go. Because you cannot hold on to your energy like that. You're healing, you're growing, you're glowing, you're minding your business, you're doing your thing. You're really like coming into who you really are. And it's like somebody's trying to hang on to your energy after they did you dirty. Like, fuck no. Like, so somebody's like refusing to let you go. This is somebody who's mad, somebody who's bitter. Somebody, this man, whoever is masculine energy, he has a lot of unhealed trauma. He won't work on himself. He won't do what the fuck he needs to do. He won't get out of his fucking marriage. He won't. It's just like, he's just bitter as fuck. King of Swords reverse, mean, bitter, an asshole, smart ass mouth, a liar, a cheater. It's like something out here is stupid. Like, King of Swords reverse. Yeah, 
have channel your reverse for real. This person could not have a car. It could be a cancer that you're dealing with. It's like somebody might not have a car anymore. But yeah, this person, they're not on their path anymore. The chariot reverse. They veered off their path, either listening to other people or they just went in the wrong direction. Somebody, something out here got out of control or went too far. You know what I'm saying? These lies that this person would tell them went too far or some shit with the chariot reverse. I'm telling you, this person keeps taking losses. They're, they're going to take ill after ill after ill after ill after ill until they let your energy go because they shouldn't have never did this ten of swords to you. Now they want to hang on to your energy for dear life. No, absolutely not. Some of you were definitely dealing with a narcissist. Somebody, this person was feeding off your energy. Yeah, as soon as I open the deck, the nine of swords, some of you, this is a Gemini. Or is somebody who ghosted you, somebody who's running in and out of your life and shit, siphoning your energy and then taking it back for their own personal use or whatever the fuck they were doing. It's like spirit is whooping their ass. Now you're free from this situation. So you literally don't have to worry about this person or anything. And they're trying to hold on to your energy with this four of pentacles upright. But they're in the high reform reverse energy. This person has lost their spiritual rank. They haven't learned any of their spiritual lessons. They're, they're a bully and a tyrant. They just do what the fuck they want to do. They don't want to conform. And that shit just, it's been backfiring on them. And this person just, they won't do right. They won't get help. Or nothing. They just keep going the wrong way. Cherry reverse or something here. Got out of control. It went too far. Yeah, look at that. Hermit reverse. I told you this person don't want to get help. This could be somebody who's like severely depressed with the hermit car reverse. But the hermit car reverse is, is also being shunned, being cast out. So this is somebody that is not welcome into your energy. You want nothing to fucking do with this person. They're not welcome into your energy. They're not welcome to your home or nothing. For some of you, this could even be a Virgo. We got Virgo, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, um, Libra out here, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's just like you want nothing to do with somebody. Like real shit. That's why I said you're in this King of Wands energy where you're in your masculine energy. It's like you're the Empress, but you're still tapping into your, your divine masculine energy too. You're just like... Stay the fuck away from me, Hermit Car. You stay, you stay the fuck away from me, cause I feel like Leo, you really whatever this person did to you, I feel like you really could have just. I'm talking about just really fuck their shit up, like for real. But you chose not to because they're not even worth it. This person's fucking pathetic. Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, you're completely turned off. Like, bitch, I am not interested. I don't want to have shit to do with your disgusting ass. I don't know what the fuck this person did, but you want nothing to fucking do with them. Like, period. Mm -mm. Yeah, spirit is also saying you can feel like this about a, a, a couple of motherfuckers. Like, Leo, I feel like you've been cleaning house with this seven of wands. It's just certain people that you just don't fuck, fuck, fuck with. Just period. Certain motherfuckers that you don't fuck with. Seven of Wands, I feel like you just block motherfuckers and keep it pushing. It's like, I'm not going to explain to you how weird you are. Like, no, fuck on. Hermit card, but this motherfucker in particular and this Hermit Reverse, this is somebody that you definitely, this was a real narc. And you're finally free from this person. Food card upright. And you're just like, I'm never going back to that shit. I'm never, you can't pay me. It ain't enough money. It ain't nothing that you could bribe me with to ever get me to be with this person again. Like ever. Yeah, look at that. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. You turned your back on this person. Look at that. You turned your back on this hermit reverse. This depressed ass person. This person that refuses to get help. This person that's codependent and shit. So for some of you, this person could have left you and got into a relationship with somebody else. Because the hermit reverse is somebody that doesn't like to be alone. So when I see the hermit reverse, that's usually somebody who likes to go from relationship to relationship to the, or they always in a relationship or they always with somebody. It's just like, you're a weirdo. Like, who does that? Time's the fool card here. Mm -hmm. This person thought they had time. Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this person could like wearing ball caps or some shit. They like hats. But yeah, this person thought they had more time to like make you a commitment and shit. Wow. 
Show us the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, look at that. Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. Now this person's heartbroken. They heartbroken and they want to return to you. But it's just like they're trying to creep towards you with this pinnacle because they know you don't want shit to do with their ass. Three of Swords, they heartbroken. This person's crying and shit. Or whoever they left you for or got into a relationship with did them dirty with the Three of Swords. Now they heartbroken and shit. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like whatever this person did to you and this Ten of Swords happened to them, but worse. Or it could have happened like three times. Ooh, I just heard some horns outside too. They were probably too far for y'all to hear, but I heard them. Three of Swords, I feel like this person could have left you and been with somebody else. And they've been trying to hold on to their relationship and make it seem like it's actually working out. Trying to make and make it seem like they didn't make a mistake by leaving you. But I feel like this person got done dirty at least three times with this person that they left you for or chose over you or whatever. They were with somebody trying to pretend like they were happy in a relationship and that motherfucker was fucking them up. <laughs> three of swords. This person could have betrayed them three different times. Like, look at that. That's black shit. Ble bleeding from their heart shit. Not somebody crying and shit. Ooh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Page of Cups reverse tried to flip over. Yeah, this is somebody who they could have been dealing with a water sign. There was a page of cups reverse. Somebody who's extremely fucking immature, manipulative, a liar. Oh my God. They were dealing with somebody. They left you. Look, look at this shit. This person ghosted you and left you. Leo, divine feminine for a fucking page of cups reverse. Wow. I'm talking about this is like the ultimate downgrade. Like, how do you go from an empress to a fucking page of cups reverse? Oh, my God. I mean, but it makes sense, though, because if this person was really a narcissist, I mean, like, of course they want somebody who's weaker, immature, slow. Like, of course they want somebody in a page of cups reverse because they thought they was going to be able to manipulate that person. But this person's so fucking childish, three of swords. It's just like they got their heart broken by this fucking page of cups reverse because the motherfucker's a liar. Mm-mm. Three of Swords here. Yeah, Four of Wands reverse. Told you somebody could have got kicked out. Because I told you this person been taking major losses. They're in the Five of Pentacles now. So this is their living conditions are fucked up with the Four of Wands reverse. They're experiencing some type of insta instability to their foundation. It's like they're heartbroken, their money fucked up, they've been taking losses, taking ills and shit. This person could have got evicted or kicked out of their house or something here. Because, I mean, the Five of Pentacles is five poverty and the Four of Wands is in reverse. This is your foundation. Somebody's foundation has been rocked. Their money is fucked up or something or something's going on, here, going on with their living conditions or their living situation. Four of Wands reverse. This could be a twin flame shit or a false twin. Like the Four of Wands reverse. Mm -hmm, moon card. Mm -hmm. Their secrets were revealed. Something was revealed. Or their worst fears came to light. Their fear was that they... I feel like this person, their fear was if I... If I leave Leo behind and go for this page of cups, it, it's almost like this person had a choice to make. It was either you or this page of cups reverse. They chose this page of cups reverse, but it's like after they did it, it's just like, man, I hope this worked out. I hope I wasn't wrong. I hope I wasn't wrong. But they were. Time has revealed that they were wrong for choosing this person over you. They made a huge mistake because now you're the empress and whoever the fuck this is they chose over you. I have no I fucking did. Bitch is crazy or something. Why is the moon car reverse? It's like the, the moon car reverse can speak to your your worst nightmare coming to reality. So the word whatever this person was in fear of happening with this page of cups reverse they chose over you actually did happen. Three of swords, now they heartbroken. They're traumatized. The three of swords can speak to trauma. Okay. Mm-mm. That's the moon card reverse. That's the moon card reverse. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, this this person that they chose over you was juggling them with somebody else. Two of pentacles. I told you people be slow as a motherfucker. Like, you be having somebody who is just like completely loyal that ticks all your boxes. It's everything that you could ever want in a person. And you juggle that? Why? Like, they could have got juggled. But this page of Cousy Reverse could have been a cancer. That's the two of pentacles in yours. Yeah, look at that ace of swords, and that's the truth. Ooh -wee. Mm -mm. They left you to go be with somebody else who juggled their ass and played them. You're that magician. I feel like this person's trying to manifest you. Why is the magician here? Yeah, look at that emperor reverse. You have somebody who lacks integrity, they lack direction. They don't know where they're headed in life. I told you, for some of you, this could be your baby daddy or your husband or some shit. Or your ex-husband or your baby daddy. Emperor Bird, somebody who abuses their um, power. It's like they lack integrity. They cheat. They lie. They manipulate. But they want the respect of a real emperor. But they're the emperor in reverse. Like, no, that's not how you get respect by doing stupid shit. It's like the emperor reverse is somebody who just thinks because they're a certain age that they're a real man. I'm, I'm 35. I'm a grown-ass man. You're not, okay? You're a grown-ass man by age. But the emperor reverse, um, no, you're a clown. Because, I mean, the emperor can be an older man. So this could be somebody who, I mean, they don't have to be, but they can be somebody who is at least 35 or older. But you're a grown-ass man and you're a fucking clown. It could be an Aries. So like somebody just, how are you a grown ass man, but you always like cheating and lying and doing stupid shit. Shit that don't get you respect. But you want somebody to, what? Like, get the fuck out of here. Emperor reverse, and you're the empress upright. So yeah, for some of you, you could have been married to this person, or this was supposed to be your counterpart, and they fucked up. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're choosing to leave this person behind because they're just not healthy for you, or they don't want to change their ways. They're stubborn as a motherfucker with the emperor reverse. Yeah, it's just like you lay this shit to rest. Four, four swords, you're just like, look. I feel like this person ain't getting no sleep over you, okay? And you can be connected with somebody else because you're the empress to the emperor reverse. This motherfucker that you're done with. And then you're the queen of pentacles, but it's a king of pentacles out here too. So it could be somebody else that's looking at you like wifey material and shit. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, strength card reverse. Yeah, you feel like this person is a bitch, a coward, a loser. They're weak. Period. Why is the uh, strength card reverse? It's like this is somebody who's weak willed. You fucked up your your opportunity with me listening to other motherfuckers who didn't really want to see your ass win or succeed at all. You're a dummy. Like, who the fuck is this strength card reverse? That's what I'm saying. Like, you could have been married to this person, Leo. And, like, pe these people that this person was around and shit was jealous of y'all relationship. Jealous of y'all connection. And they let somebody get in their fucking ear and fuck y'all shit up. Yeah, look at that. Will of Fortune Reverse. Yeah, karma turn their ass up. I told you. <laughs> Will of Fortune Reverse. Karma is turning somebody's ass up because you meant well for this person. You had a best interest with the Empress card. And they did the Ten of Swords to you for no reason other than based on what somebody else told them about you. Like, that's the most loser shit that you can do. Why is the Will of Fortune reverse? This person got karma le karmic lessons to learn. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Cups, you walked away. You're like, I'm not settling for this shit no more. Get somebody else to do it. Like, nah, I'm good on you, bro. That's the Eight of Cups here. I'm good on you. Yeah, and I feel like now this person wants to apologize. Now they want to make amends. Page of Pentacles. It's like... Yeah, Six of Wands. Yeah, because you're winning. Told you. Six of Wands. A lot of you got some type of platform or literally you could be becoming like a celebrity or you have some type of fame or status and shit with the star. In the Six of Wands, this is literally like celebrity. Like real shit. 
So some of you are in the spotlight, you're in the limelight, or you will be. But I feel like somebody like Page of Pentacles is like somebody wants to extend an olive branch to you now. It's like they know that you know what they did. So it's just like they want to be cool with you again. So they're offering like an olive branch to Page of Pentacles. It's like, can we just be cordial? Can we at least make amends? Can we at least get along? And I don't know how you feel about that. Clarify this page of principles. Yeah, you're not interested. Ace of Wands, be very like, nah, I don't want to be cool. I don't get cool with the ops. I don't get cool with motherfuckers who did me dirty. No. So Ace of Wands reverse is a no. Or this person can't offer you much. All they can't offer you is a page of pentacles. Not even an ace of pentacles. They ain't got no money. I was like, um, ace of pentacles. You're like, I don't want to be friends with your ass. I don't want to be nothing, bitch. Scram. Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. This could even be a friend for some of you, too, with the Queen of Swords reverse. And I feel like this person doesn't even want the, like, the person that they left you for, they don't even want them. <laughs> Queen of Swords reverse the devil. was a toxic-ass, bitter-ass hoe. But see, this is who they went after. Somebody who was more on their vibration, more on their energetic frequency. They're the King of Swords reverse. This is the Queen of Swords reverse of the devil. A fucking karmic-ass bitch. And for some of you, they contracted some type of STD from this bitch, too. So they're stuck there. You know what I'm saying? They can't offer you nothing but a page of pentacles. It's like, can we at least be friends? Can we at least be cordial? Can we at least bury the hatchet? Absolutely the fuck not, bitch. It's up and it's stuck. Why is the queen, king of pentacles here? Yeah, page of swords. I feel like there's somebody else who's interested in you. King of pentacles is the page of swords. It's like somebody's watching you online. Somebody who's interested in you. Somebody who feels like you would be the perfect girlfriend or the perfect wife. It's like somebody who really likes you, but I don't know if they said anything to you or not. They just watching you on social media with the page of swords. Yeah, seven of swords. They're trying to strategize on what to say to you. Why is the seven of swords here? Nine of swords. And, and whoever this person is who's watching you, that's interested in you, they also can have somebody that's watching them. Nine of wands. It's like somebody's mad because somebody like views you like that or is interested in you or some shit. Yeah, look at that high priestess. So it's like somebody that you don't even know, I feel like has a crush on you or is into you or something here. It's like somebody that's looking at you as like a girlfriend or a wife or they're really attracted to this high priestess energy, this mysteriousness, this, you know, you're just sexy, bitch. And you know, you know a lot. It's like somebody could be psychic or something that you say or do, or it's like people just know that you're tapped in in some type of way, but you're the high priestess. And it's like whoever this man is that's watching you or that's interested in you and shit, they got somebody who's spying and watching them. And maybe they figured out that this person's interested in you and now they're pissed. This is like, how are you mad? Because it's somebody who's interested in me or somebody who finds me attractive weirdo weird ass hoes i'm telling you why is the high priest is here queen of cups yeah you fine as a motherfucker like i'm telling you and i feel like you got good friends too high priestess queen of cups empress is out here like your friends are legit leo like real shit or your sibling your sister whoever this is it's an empress and a high priestess out here like your homegirls queen of cups they got your best interest they they go hard for you girl yeah, Paige and Wands reverse. Somebody jealous of that shit. And somebody acting out, throwing a tantrum tantrum because they can't get your attention anymore. Like, these motherfuckers straight lame. Yeah, not a sword. It's like somebody wants to rush in with communication. It's just like somebody just going to be impulsive and say something to you because, yeah, this is somebody who hasn't changed death card. Could be a score. Ooh, death, death card with a tower. Definitely a Scorpio. Somebody that you dodged a bullet from. Like, you're just like, thank God shit didn't work out with that person. Yeah, Temperance, you up here chilling and minding your damn business. Period. Archangel Michael, I'm talking about you are divinely protected. Seven of Wands and the Temperance, you are protected because you're in your purpose. So, I don't know who these people are that's trying to fuck with you, but I feel like 
you ain't let nobody fuck your piece up for sure yeah somebody wants to come back around they're repeating a cycle and shit you ain't paying this person no attention you're focused on something else eight of pentacles Mm -hmm. yeah that's some all your people know they didn't fucked up with you yeah queen of wands three of pentacles reverse this little group or this coven who tried to come for you bitch that shit didn't work dummy <laughs> yeah backfire eight of wands reverse yeah anyway yeah look not somebody crying he's cups on the bottom of the deck mm-hmm Somebody's just lost and confused and weird as a motherfucker out here. But anyway, Leo, this has been a reading. I'm going to leave it here because this motherfucker didn't got too long. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I will holler at you later. Peace.